Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at each personal month forecast for the month of July 2023. Now keep in mind the personal month calculation is different from the life path calculation. So make sure you check that before you listen to your forecast just to make sure you're listening to the right one. You can find that calculation in the description box below. Now, of course, this is a general reading. If you would like a personalized reading based on your own personal numerology, please book some time with me. You can find my information in the description box below. Okay, so keep in mind that July 2023 is a universal five energy. So collectively, we are going to feel the influences of this vibration. The five brings about change, transformation, shifts. It also brings the need for freedom or again, um, some kind of change if there's somewhere that we have become stagnant or if we're kind of off course uh, and need to be redirected. This energy will come in and shake things up for us. Also, this is an energy that requires moderation. It's easy to fall into extremes when it comes to five energy. So we will be asked this month to make sure that we keep coming back to center. The energy of the, of the five also is going to ask us to, amidst the chaos or amidst the change, to find our joy. What makes us happy? What lights us up? Are we surrounding ourselves with people who bring us joy um, or that create joy within our lives? Uh, are we doing things, whether it's for work or for hobbies, uh, that bring brings us joy, right? And so that will be put under the microscope this month as well. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at each personal month forecast for the month of July. Okay, if July is a personal month eight for you, this can be a month where you see an emphasis put on career. Uh, you could see some changes in career. You might have applied for something and you get um, that promotion or you change jobs or you launch something, um, whether it's a new program or offering or a new business or something like that, that's very possible this month and it's very supported this month, right? The energy is there, it's what you do with it that makes the difference. But because you're in an eight cycle that's very focused on the business-minded leader type of energy um, and ambition and expertise and sharing that expertise, and we're in the collective cycle of the five this month, that brings in the change, right? The, the modification or the swift um, transformation, so to speak. So you could see a lot kind of happening around career, around business. Um, and if you don't work or don't have to work, it could be like your contracts with people. So if you're contracting help to come in to, to help with your house or clean or um, build something or whatever the case may be, or any kind of like contracts, because that falls under the eight energy. Uh, you could see some changes with that or some modifications that are needed. Um, also some um, uh, some adjustments to where you're sort of reining in a little bit because with a five energy, we can be in extremes. So just need to make sure that you're finding your center with what, whatever it is and you're not like um, overspending or spending too much uh, or spending more than you need to on some of these contracts or not spending enough type thing. Just depends, right? Um so just kind of keep uh, an eye on what comes in around uh, either business, career, those changes type thing, um, leadership of some sort as well, and sort of taking the lead with your expertise, right? Because it's going to put the focus on um, change or shift in directions as it comes to how you share your expertise um, and how's, how that's used, right? Uh, what else? You could also see some power plays come in this month as well and some shifts with those power plays. So it might be that if there's some kind of situation where there has been a power play, that you're stepping it up and you are getting your power back and you are changing that dynamic. That's very, very possible. If not, you might see that the pressure keeps getting put on and put on and put on it or the situation keeps getting more and more uncomfortable to where you're sort of, um, you get to the point where you're, you're going to do something, right? It's like that saying where it's like, if the suffering gets so great, we, we make a move, right? Um, 
So the five energy can bring that in. And that with eight energy, again, can be if there's anywhere that you either you have had control over a situation or too much control over a situation or others have had that control over you, then this is a situation where um, with this five energy coming to shake things up, it's trying to rebalance things, right? Get things back on track. And so you may see that come in. So if there's been some kind of like power play between you and an authority figure or you know your boss or whatever, you could see that come into alignment this month. Of course, it's going to take some effort on your part as well, but you could see that friction kind of come to a head, so to speak. Finances could come into play this month as well. So finances, resources, um, status as well. So if you are looking to get married or divorced or any of those things, again, contracts, uh, that could happen this month as well. And this is, this is a great month for it uh, to take place because you do have that energy of uh, five, that's bringing in the change or the shift or again, change in status or whatever the case may be. And then you have that eight energy that sort of has um, dominion over that. So beautiful en uh, energy there. If, if you do get married under this energy, this could be the energy of um, resources strengthening from the combining of resources, um, you know, like the power couple type thing as well. Uh, just a lot of emphasis on, again, money, resources, power, status, um, yeah. And potential change or shifts around that. Also that five remember brings in the element of joy and finding our joy in our, for you, it would be like work or contracts or, um, resources or money, you know, is how you achieve, um, is how you earn your money. Is it bringing you joy or not? If it's not, you might see some changes come up around that or some pressure be put on that with that five. Okay. So July 3rd, we have a full moon and this full moon is bringing in the energy of the seven for you all. So this is really a great time for self discovery for kind of really, you know, taking some time for solitude, going within, um, evaluating sort of where you're at on your journey. You know, is it where you want to be? Um, this can be a great time to take up a course of study of some sort or uh, become a mentoree, become a mentor. But you really, this is um, more about self and self-discovery. So I would say mentoree, something that allows you to enhance your skill set or expand your mind, get to the truth of something, um, dig deeper, right? That's that seven energy. You could also see a lot of... Uh, um, like spiritual downloads come in a lot of um, deeper insights come in at this time. And because you're in this eight energy, I would say it's probably going to be something around business career. Um, you know, those power dynamics, whatever, however, it surfaces around that eight energy for you. But the seven really kind of brings that to play. Now, I will say seven energy also brings into uh, focus contracts and legal proceedings as well. So I would say um, if you are signing any kind of contract this month, or if you are going into any kind of like binding agreement, please make sure that you're, you know, just reading the fine print and also getting some like, you know, a professional to kind of look it over just to make sure that you're protected and that everything looks good because you have those strong energies of the eight and the seven. Um, so you just want to make sure that everything looks good and there's no power plays. There's no like, you know, like sneakiness going on there just to make sure, just to make sure you're covered. Um, but yeah, I would say around this full moon, this would be a great time for some deeper self-awareness. So there could be some things that come in for your experience that sort of challenge you a little bit to see things differently, see a new perspective about self, about um, maybe some belief systems that you may have held. Um, you may see that come in very strongly to, again, just sort of challenge the ego a little bit and say, uh, is this the best way to do this? Or is this the best way to think about this? Or can we look at it a different way? And it's through that sort of exploration and looking at things a little bit differently, of course, that we evolve and expand and all those things. So uh, I would also say maybe something around those energies of the eight, since that's the personal cycle that you're in. Uh, let's see, July 17th, we have a new moon and this new moon is bringing in the energy of the three. So this can be a very social period, a great time for collaboration. Now, again, I would bring this back to 
career or business or expertise and sharing that expertise and how you want to share that wisdom. Um, this can be a great time for creative self-expression for, um, launching something. Absolutely. This is a great time around this new moon for you all to launch something creative or to get your, your work out there or your name out there, your voice out there. So again, starting some kind of, um, social media platform would be very supported at this time. Starting a new business would be very supported around this new moon. Um, this is also a great time again for collaboration. So business partnerships could come in very, very strongly around this new moon, um, sort of connecting with someone who has a similar vision and has the resources that maybe you don't have and collaborating in some way to get it off the ground and to make it very tangible. Um, communication could also come up. So you may receive communication. That's very important. Uh, this month you may you know, have applied for something and then you get the notification that you got the job or you're going to that, you got accepted to that school or whatever the case may be that could come in around the new moon as well. Uh, let's see what else do I want to say about that? The really the collaboration. And I think as it ties into, um, any kind of leadership role, any kind of contracts, any kind of business or sharing your expertise is very, very supported, especially around this new moon. I would say around the full moon, it's more about sort of that self exploration, sort of, um, taking a closer look at your relationships and where, um, maybe there's some, um, lack of trust and maybe there needs to be more trust and how do you get there type thing. Uh, you could also come at, come into some strong truths, around the full moon. So again, those truths could change your perception and your experience. Okay. But this new moon is great for socializing and networking and collaborating. So get yourself out there. Don't be afraid to share your ideas. Don't be afraid to ask for assistance, especially around this full moon. Um, if you need financial backing, if you need someone who's, you know, in a position of authority and who has an in, this would be a great time to see if they can help you out. Cause you might get a yes. Um, yeah, so beautiful energy, very creative period around this new moon. So anything you start around this new moon, that's creative, that's moving that life force energy through you can, has the potential to be very successful, uh, because you're backed by this, this personal cycle of the eight. So very strong energy for business, or again, anything that, that is, um, getting your energy out into the world, sharing your wisdom. Okay. It doesn't always have to be about like career and what you're paid for, but very supported, uh, to yeah, just create and share that, share your wisdom and your expertise. All right. I hope it's a great month month for you all. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.